not getting hopes up. Between these two for me, maybe the Rush or the Shavira. Uh, I think I might take the Shavira here for Druid, because they lack the AoE comeback cards. Uh, I played a 2 drop that cost me a 1 cost spell into Caligos, into Calling, 2 Divine. Yeah. I mean, at that point, like. Yeah. I get it. It's, it's bullshit. <laughs> Caligos, uh, Conjurers, and you got two Colossus. Well, at least they're not the Taunt Colossus. That happened to me, and I quit right away, because it's so bullshit, right? So he dropped Caligos, and then played call, Discover Calling. Calling Caligos got two seven seven Taunt Colossus, and I'm like, yep, I leave. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, it's just... Yeah, you just can't do anything about that, right? And that's kind of bad design, right? Only one card here. Tour guy's not bad. I'd probably take a four. Better than this. Card's good. Those games happen, right? Like, you know, they happen all the time. <laughs> so they might happen today. Might happen to me right now. Happen all the time. Uh, Tyrant's good. Dorian Agent, not three mana. I think that would be a little busted at 3 mana. Uh, Druid has good 1 cost spells. Colossus, there you go. The problem with Colossus in this meta is that Mage and Priest have pretty good ways to deal with it. So, seems like a liability, but it should win against other decks pretty easily. These other two cards are just not that good. Uh, I've gotten some love for this card. It's not bad. I don't want another Kodo. I might just take the one. That looks pretty slowish. You know what, let's take the removal. We have no removal, so... Third into the draft. Rising Wind's great. Infestation versus a 3. I like this card, but I think it might just be the Jeweler. We don't have any spell burst cards, so... A spell here is just not super great. One spell, two spells, three spells, but no spell burst. Take the three. I think I want a win condition. Savage Roar is a win condition for me. B studies, darn. These two cards are so good. I think we're gonna have to rely on uh, HS replay. How good are the? How good is the discover card for Druid? I think it's probably pretty good. Uh, it's about as good as borrowing Scur a Scorpid, which is great. It's not as good as Bees actually. Bees has an insane win rate. Yeah, I think. Yeah, hard, hard pick here. I mean, this card can give us some kind of hefty cards. It could give us reach. Um, like it could go double savage roar. It could be swipe. It could be a big in blessing of ancients. Just looking at the spell um, choices here. The Rob of the Fittest. Rob of the Fittest is pretty good actually. He's doing better than bees, wow. Not sure. Mm. I kinda wanna try the studies. 
Our early game doesn't look super shaky right now, so maybe we can take the the flexible card. Okay. Kind of my justification. Raider seems fine. Take the beat stick. Oh. Time to embiggen. Yeah, Ambigan's hard to pass, especially with a pretty generic deck. Like, her deck feels kind of generic, uh, lacking win condition or super quality. Um, and Ambigan, I think, is the best card for Priest. Uh, sorry, for Druid. Sorry, Hydra is the best card. Slightly better than Ambigan. Yeah. I uh, take a bat. Seems good. Keeper of the Grove for silence. I don't really want this. Maybe we just take Keeper of the Grove. It's too damage. It's kind of like a bad Fire Plume Phoenix, and it does have the silence, which does have um, some usefulness, especially against Proto Drakes and Colossus and stuff. Yeah, I don't have much love for this card. Yeah, I, I don't know. Sometimes it's it's hard to play. <laughs> Maybe our deck's kind of big enough, but with him big in, it gets kind of bigger. He's doing his best. Keeper used to be my favorite card in the whole game before he nerfed it. Yeah, I mean, it's. I mean, the flexibility is still quite good. Bees is too good. I mean, nature studies could be bees, it could be anything. <laughs> uh, I was just thinking, like, our early game is decent enough at that point, and I kind of wanted to take the flexible card. Uh, it could be reach. That's something, we, that's something we don't have, right? So. Hey, Droder, welcome. Thanks for the three months. Welcome back. Booze or pug? <laughs> Thanks, Ben. How are you doing tonight? Uh, I take a grove. Oh my goodness. This card's so good. Shit. No one big in help, though, with. It doesn't get helped by a big end, so. Scorpion or draw? Shit. This draw is pretty. Uh, the discover is pretty strong in Druid. But of course, Scorpion is always strong. Are they close enough? I just want to see how good Squirrels is. Yeah, Squirrels not good enough, I think. They're not super close. Yeah, Stewie could be anything. I don't know. I think Scorpit's better though. I'll take a removal card. These two cards are kind of meh. Okay, now we can take a. Maybe we can take it now? Shadow Weaver? I mean, Shadow Weaver is good, but. Maybe with Embiggen, we don't need this. Uh, maybe I'm being silly. Maybe just Shadow Weaver is fine. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, we gotta take the best card that Druid has, so... Broomstick? Broomstick could help. Stick Force Aid, Broomstick. Go. Broomstick this guy. I like Broomstick over these two. Mana Saber or Bat? Mana Saber might help with some of the ramp. Not a bad minion to play stealth as well. Also like just a playable 4 drop because right now like we have a lot of 4s but most of them require situations for them to be good. 
like bat, grove. This is understated. This is understated. So I think we we'll just go to Madness Saber here. Another one. It's kind of okay. I mean, these are impactful cards um, with them big into. I think it'll work. Last pick. I'm not sure what I'm hoping for, but probably hoping for something. Maybe a Wing Guardian. Corruptor with Embiggen is very good, so. This card could be really good too. Alright. Pretty high quality, uh, high quality Druid deck here. Missing a swipe, but I'm happy that we took the Nature Study. Nature Study will be able to help us dig for some removal. Seems like a high quality Druid deck. Probably mid seven, mid high 70s. Yeah, high 70s here. Uh, a lot of neutrals, but they're good. Yeah, definitely. Two Scorps. Scorps are good. They win you the early game. Um, our late game, is it good enough? It's good enough against most decks, I would say. And even Priest and Mage, if they draw bad, I think. I think it's good enough. Like Force Aid usually beats it can beat a mage up pretty good. They have to be pretty ready for this card. Yeah, we got Marsh Hydra too. I this I mean the deck quality is very good. Um, but you never know. You never know. For sure, twelve? Hoping. I haven't gotten a twelve in a while. Let's see how it let's see how it does against priests here. My beloved Tozan. Worst ma matchup for this deck. Um, Druid is not bad against Druid is not bad against Hunter uh, because Druid generally has a lot of taunts and they have pretty cheapish like AOE cards. Or like small little things that deal with their small minions and then their hero power makes their hero power like half effective so druid generally does okay against um, and they have healing too like class healing so they generally do kind of okay against hunter um, I mean this deck at the end is pretty mid-range so if if you run into like a full-blown control deck you'll you'll definitely lose I'm gonna keep this Play on Asia, yes. Hey Magister, what's up man? Showing their down their throats. Jesus. So if I play this with and then the coin, your next spell it costs one. So the coin will cost one, right? So that's pretty bad. So now I know never to keep this if I have the coin. Pretty sure that's what I learned today. These cards kind of suck. For Adley, thanks for the follow. Coin costs one less. Oh, it says one less. Oh, I see. Sorry, for some reason I thought it cost one, which is not the case. Need a pretty impactful uh, Lightning Bloom card. I mean, this is good, and it kills the three drop most likely. But then we're pretty locked out next turn. Jesus. Hey Danger Mouse, what's up man?
A rogue opponent went turn one sphere of sapience. <laughs> so did he pass turn two? Remember that game the other night where we had um, Sphere of Sapiens from that warrior? That warrior drafted Sphere of Sapiens. And it was pretty good for us, but we almost lost that game to double double bullies. Oh my god, I remember that game. Back and forth, back and forth game. Warrior taking Priest to the limit. So next turn we play Hydra. <laughs> How about it? You want to play warrior? Uh, um, haven't encountered a lot of warriors. Generally, yeah, they generally haven't been very good. I don't think warrior keeps up with mage or priest. So their plan is to smork down mages and priests, but. I don't know. You probably have to rely on a really strong early game for Warrior to do really well. Because you can't go toe to toe with those two classes in value. You're kind of good with Warrior? Oh, that's good. Uh, so, next turn we are stuck with two mana last, eh? We have pretty good kill. Like, do we want to develop a 7 3? But then we're locked down next turn. We can't really do anything. Uh, what would you like to know, uh, East Gaming? You want to know the metas? Here's the tier list. It is based on HS Replay. Big turn here because if you coin Hydra, you got a pretty bad turn. Uh, turn six. Yeah, pretty bad turn six. Gotta hold off here. You just skip Rogue and Paladin for Warrior. <laughs> good luck. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. I wonder. Yeah, no worries, man. Deal three damage to minion costs zero if you have less, at least seven crystals. Zero two drops. The game knows, giving you the most OP turn two play. Armor up. <laughs> I wonder. wonder what this guy's game plan is. Is he just going to like? greet us out. Maybe we should have taken a uh, crystal portal because I feel like we're gonna run out of cards against this guy. Hey Jaybird, what's good? My priest deck is insane right now. <laughs> uh, get lucky snipe. Can we do it? Hydra, Hydra soaks up the um, death and then we drop Force Aid, that soaks up Nova. We play it again. <laughs>
You know what? I haven't really looked at warrior at all. Or uh, Hydra is not as good. This a buff, maybe a rush. I'm okay if he rushes, because then that brings the five attack off the board. Overlay is working. I think it was always working. Play this. He only needs one mana to kill this guy. Uh, one damage. It still doesn't have deckless overlay that we can highlight, but that's fairly redundant with your deckless being there. Um, yeah, sometimes my overlay doesn't work, so... Oh, he's gonna wish he saved that. I definitely wish he saved that. This NA? Nope, uh, we're still on Asia. Savage Roar off the top. Yeah, we should definitely should have kept Crystal Song Portal. Have a chance at three Druid minions. Didn't expect us to like not have not run out of cards. But this guy hasn't really played too much stuff. How can we play so much Asia? I want to make sure that my 30 run sample gets recorded. So I'm basically playing, like we already did 30 runs on Asia. Um, from, um, from, um, sorry, from the end of July up to now. So we already played 30 runs, um, but I want to make sure that the 30 runs gets uh, recorded um, because if they cut off the leaderboard at the start of the expansion, then I would have lost half my runs. And basically I did 15-15. And then it's kind of a waste, right? Because then you don't want to... You kind of wasted your time on Asia because your runs are split. And then you don't get the leaderboard that way. Uh, what did you pick Druid over? Warlock and uh, Hunter. Uh, but we'll go back to, um, we'll go back to NA. This guy has nothing left. He's uh, pretty empty. He might have like MC or something. And like, we just have like, junk. Okay. Uh, I did 29. Oh, Savage Roar. You were here. You were here, bro. Yeah, I did 29 runs. That's why I didn't count. Uh, I'm kind of scared that... I mean, we could play Windlord, Lightning Bloom, Savage Roar, so we can kind of wait them out. Uh, at this point, I think we just play two minions. Yeah, so yeah, we I only did 29 runs. I thought I did 30, but apparently I only did 29. Uh, I think we have lethal next turn. Alakure does 10. No, we don't. 10. Yeah, we do. Next turn we have lethal. What is a woman's uh, 
Uh, 10 plus 8, 18. 18 plus 8, 26. Plus 2 from phase 28. So we have 28 next turn. Oh, sorry, we have 9 on the board. So 29. Yeah, we have enough. Hey, Wolverine, what's up, man? How's it going? How's your Saturday? Uh, we're going pretty good. Stream just started, so... Started about half an hour ago. First game of the first draft. 19-29. Alright guys, let's do something very fun that you guys will, don't see very often, right? Alright, good luck. Good luck, man. May all your pots be monsters. Wait. May all your li may all your cards be live and your pots be monsters. Thirty one. Alkir does ten. Alkir does ten. Our board does uh nine plus seven. No, sorry, 9 plus 8, so 17, plus 2 from our face, so that's 29. I don't know how you got 31. Maybe I'm messing up. Am I messing up? I would keep the 3. Uh, we have 2 Scorps. We have all sorts of turn 4 plays, so I'm going to keep the 3. See if we can dig out like in big in or something. No, our hand gets worse? How is this possible? pretty good he kept his whole hand but he top decked this to play it so how good can his hand be Um, it looks like Ambush gets triggered by the Imprisoned guy, so it's not Ambush. And it's not Plagiarize. Could be Bamboozle. Bamboozle's much less likely. Probably dirty tricks. Trying to draw, I guess. That would be my guess. He's trying to draw. Yeah, he's trying to draw. I mean, it's not a big deal to give him the draw early, but we don't really need. We're not. We're not feeling pressure to develop, so. We can pump out a 6, 7. Yeah, we can pump out a 7 Hydra right away. Maybe just give it to him. I mean, it's an instant threat. He only has 6 mana. He needs to assassinate this. Six health, also very hard to deal with. So he has to assassinate this. 
four plus cold blooded two cards. I mean that's fine. We could even draw five, but I don't think that's really necessary here. This is actually not super strong. Because we want to develop stats, but we don't have a lot of things that develop stats. Draw 5 seems terrible right now. Might still be the pick. Fresh out of luck. Thanks for the follow, man. Um, I think taking the card there is a little bit greedy. Like, I'd rather have the 2-2, I think, especially with the overflow in hand. Um, we're not too desperate for cards. We have plays, right? Kills 2-2. Two, two. Draws last. <laughs> Cost you the game? Oh, that's the worst feels. I mean, honestly, if he discovered like Bone Wraith, it would have been better than Kodo. Oh, he has the broom. Kills two, so we're down to four. Uh, I guess that's bad. Play these two with the rush. But I can't hero power. I guess I don't need to hero power. Yeah, even with our bad turn 7, because on turn 7 we played it's 5 mana 3-5. Even with our bad turn 7, 
Um, we pretty efficiently killed his scribe. Like, we basically played... Like, he played a scribe and we removed it, developed a 2-2. Two -two, like, pretty efficiently, so... Looks like uh, Keeper of the Grove there was slightly better than Satire. Lurdroth, thanks for the follow. So many threes, I know. A little bit unlucky, because then we don't have that many threes in our deck, but we drew all of them here. Uh, I'm going to take a bite out of this guy, just because this card can go down to one power. I have five three drops, draw three of them. Draw four of them, yeah. Oh yeah, I drew all of them, yeah. That sucks. Okay. <laughs> Our next turn's kind of whack with Wrath and Hero Power. So if I play this... He throws this guy in, he hits down to two. It's not the best. I mean, this card is probably just better here. Cost him one mana to deal with it. But it does weaken his turn three. Uh, Scorp is bad. Okay. Go in face. That means he throws a two one. Okay. That's super aggro, for sure. I mean, like, this car is an activated 4 2 is insane, right? For only 2 mana. So. No. And he stuck a one drop. He curved out really well. This card just seems the hardest to remove. Not curving out well here. I have for This might be the break uh, we need. Takes a slower turn here. Might hero power, whack it. What's wrong? That doesn't seem very good. So that thing can repeat repeat silence. So You don't want to play a 6 drop into it. So do we play like maybe we play like two threes. Next turn we drop corruptor. Okay. 
Okay. Darn. Ah, <laughs> we're actually running out of stuff. Damn it. His cards have been very efficient against ours. Interesting interaction is that Mage Hunter, when it hit the Orc, the Orc lost the power. Um, the Orc lost the ability. So it was silenced before the damage was dealt. Might be something like uh, definitely worth uh, noting. Trading seems like a weird trade, though. Not the best trade. Yeah, I didn't know that. It's pretty interesting. Well, I mean, we have a lot of good value cards left, so hopefully we get one. This guy's a demon and a four cost card. What's a good four cost card? It's probably just a minion, right? Maybe the outcast four drop. That's pretty strong. Warp? Yeah, that's good. Shit. Actually got value from that card, eh? Colossus. Colossus online. It resolves before the attack lands. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Hopefully this demon is not like ginormous. Oh, it's ginormous. The 10-10. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, that's not that bad, I guess. Nice, force eight's good. I mean, he has another Sathravar, right? Because um, that uh, philosophy copies the demon. 
Turalon works like that too. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, this should win us the game. Because he has a Sathravar, right? So he, he's going to slam down the Scorp, most likely. But Scorp's not that good here. Because he still has to deal with 12 damage. Maybe it's Cycle of Death. This card gets very wrecked by Cycle of Death. Have to be very careful. Okay. Still a 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay. Still nasty. So he has one Sathravar and one Scorpion in his hand. Scorpion. Probably Wrath. So we Wrath it. Trade here, he takes 7, and then we play this, and he's dead next turn. Unless he has another way. Obviously, cycle is very bad, so... Oh, he has it. Fuck off, man. This guy is fucking sniping, I swear to god. You don't play cycle last turn, but you play it this turn. It's a fucking gong show game, man, I swear to god here. It's, it's fucking joke, dude. It's fucking joke, 18, 19. I mean, we can live, but it's fucking joke. Absolute gong show game. Are we not supposed to play this last turn? Seriously though, are we not supposed to play this last turn? Like, how does that guy not play, like, how does that guy not play, um, Psycho last turn to kill a 5-2 and a 7-2? Like, he kills 12 damage worth of, 12 damage worth of stuff, and he develops 6-6 six, six worth of stats. Like, how does he not do that? Other than he knows the, our force aid is in our hand, right? Like, I, like, I don't know, man. That's, like, seems kind of blatant to me. Greedy? Maybe. Seems pretty damn blatant to me, man. I mean, we only have two cards in our hand, too. Ah, it's just freaking stupid. Donkey player with insane card. Sniper in Asia? I mean, I've been playing on Asia for a long time. Like, especially recently, so... I don't know. I mean, I only have two cards in my hand, so... You don't take the walks, eh? Pretty good, considering we don't have curve. I'm not going to take the trade. He's going to spend removal to kill 2-2. Go ahead. Your 
pretty nasty. So crap. <sighs> I mean, if he gets rid of, the, let's say he gets rid of the first body, and then he kills the one one, right? He free kills the one one. We have two bodies to kill after that, so it's either deal with it almost certainly this turn, or potentially deal with it two turns from now, which is like turn six. So I didn't want to prolong how long it takes us to deal with this card. Like even like now we're like stuck with like Embiggen and stuff. Steal 7. I feel like it can do more. We could just play this with the hero power and then push 5. This card kills it and leaves a 3-4 behind. That's pretty good, but our turn 7 is not as good. This could be a playable turn 7. I guess we have this. Okay, let's do this then. Alright, this just does more here. It leaves a 3-4 whereas this wouldn't leave anything and then we have a 7. So he has to deal with two threats and then we have an actual threat coming. Yeah, that does nothing. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Fast stuff. Just a two five now, so here you go. Secret. What are the chances it's vaporized? Pretty high? It's drafted. Counterspell? love when that happens. Top deck this card, one of the best cards for mage. Uh, get 20 health worth of taunt, no big deal. Just 20 health worth of taunt.
a secret. No whoosh. Gotta be a minion first. Frostnova. So he needs Evo into Frostnova, or maybe Cone. Cone could do it. It's pretty good. Okay, that's good. Left the biggest minion. And freeze. Good old mage, right? Doing mage things. Yep. Good old freeze doing mage things. Yep. 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 So minion, dragon, spell. Yep. <laughs> He's still alive. Yep. 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 Could be barrier. And dead. What the f- that's like garbage RNG. Get that garbage RNG out of the way. Get that garbage RNG out of the way. Yeah, GG. Oh, we lost that Demon Hunter. Feels so bad. I even called that card too. I said we have to be careful, but I don't think we could have held back Force 8 anymore in that game. Ah, so bad. Instantly lose, no chance. Studies, I mean, Studies more of a flex card to top deck, right? Drawing Hydra when not needed. Yep, drawing Hydra when it's useful. Nope. <laughs> Hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully we get it perfectly timed every game. I mean, an 8 mana 9 9 rush is pretty good. <laughs> 8 mana 9 9 rush gives you an 8 drop. It's pretty good. No, why you do that? Is it gold in the
I can't take advantage of this next turn. He's on turn 4, so a 3 attack minion is not terrible. Scorp really gets wrecked by uh, Cleave. But I guess with 2 mana it's not too bad. 2 mana might even get the Kodo down. Yeah, I mean specifically Cleave, that's about it. I mean he could have a Rathi here, just not as bad. Yeah, it's not as bad. Could play this in Wrath. Um, but you're playing a 1-4 right? on turn 5, it's pretty bad. Kindly giving us his 4 drop. We have 7 mana to develop. So that goes in, we kill that off. Drop some taunts. Kill that off. Save the Wrath. Just thinking the most tempo is to Wrath, and then you can develop a 3-2 with the Taunt. Um, and then we got Kodo in a 3. I think it's probably best. It's kind of all Linish though against this guy. Yeah, it feels kind of all in-ish because you're playing the draw cards for small stuff for tempo, playing against Warrior. Okay. So Pest, I had a Priest, Mirror, and Grave rune my Proto Drake. He had no cards, his top deck was MC. Uh, yeah, that's brutal. Brutality happened. Again, pretty bad, like weakish plays, right? Uh, I mean, why would you Grave Ruin without trading? Like, did you trade? Like, I think I would be pretty scared to Grave Ruin, um, like, just setting it up. I think I would be pretty scared to, to do that, so... Yeah, I would, I mean, I would be definitely worried, but, I mean, you definitely did get unlucky, so. And I think maybe in your position, you know. There must be a reason why you set it up. That's, like, there has to be a reason for you to set it up preemptively. What the fuck? Are you serious, dude? He randomly gets a combo... Car value card and randomly has a combo card and he's warrior. How much random stuff can happen? Why is keeping the growth so bad? It's not that bad. Oh my god. Uh, his 8 drops better than our 8 drop too.
You can put it down to 9, but it seems unlikely that it does anything. not bad but it's not a huge value card <laughs> shit that's pretty huge okay so we kill this guy off we push four we play this do we draw a card I think we probably just play a 3-2 right Actually, we can't. Hmm. We just hero power. All right. Pick rock. Five, six. So six in hand. Not easy for a warrior to deal with this. Kills two. All right, we got him. The wand picks For the wild, I must safeguard the land. There, Keeper of the Grove got lethal, guys. I did trade it. it was a 50 50 in the 2 6 that kills a random enemy. So you put the Grave Ruin on the Proto Drake and then you trade it into the 2 6, hoping that if it killed the Proto Drake, you get two Proto Drakes, right? Good card. <laughs> Keeper of the Scorpid, yeah. We're increasing the win rate of Keeper of the Grove because it's abysmal. If you guys look up the win rate of Keeper of the Grove, it's so bad. It's like, how is this card that bad? Like, I don't think it's that bad. Like, it's un it's unplayable as a 4, like almost. Like, But how is it that much worse than Fire Plume Phoenix? It's, it is plus 1 plus 1, but it has the flexibility of silencing a minion. And silence is pretty huge in this meta. Like priests everywhere. Um, you got these crazy death rattle minions like Proto Drake, Proto Drake, like Scribe, Sky Stalker. Like, how is it that bad? Like Curse Vagrant. Like, there's tons of crazy cards. Maybe people use it wrong. I know too many options, right? You give people more than one option, and then they start fumbling the card like no other day. Yeah, silence is silence is perfectly good, especially against the priest meta. Like, I don't think it's insane, but I mean, it's it's a fine card. Yeah, and paladin too. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, we're probably playing Rising Winds next turn. And I don't really want to play it as a one mana card, so. Have there been any first micro adjustment? Uh, no. No way, it's way too early. Nothing is broken enough. No Nothing is broken enough for them to instantly respond. Oh really? Congrats. Congrats, welcome to the Light Forge Club. Why don't I play Hunter where you can offer mage? Can't pass. Wow, two one fours. So he double kills and then one dies. Uh. Uh, I mean, this is pretty weak, right? But it's a pretty weak opener.
Oh, feast is coming, yeah. Oh my god, don't don't give him feast here. That would be so gross. Like don't don't do it. I can't I can't watch. I can't watch this unfold be uh, before my eyes. Okay, this is this is okay. This is fine. Hey, that's fine. Whatever. Point this is strong. You don't pick the wise. Jesus. I think I wouldn't do this play if I didn't have the rest deed. So I, have, I can rest deed whatever he plays. Um, and in our turn 6 seems pretty okay. We can go Rising Winds twice with the studies to set up the Forest Grove. Uh, 9 1 to 12 2. I had to think and focus so much. How do you play Arena high level for so little effort? <laughs> um, you just play a lot. You haven't seen me online? I play every day. <laughs> what are you talking about? You haven't seen me online. I play every day. Play every day, tons a day. Oh fuck. Okay, steal some shit from my deck. Nothing good, please. Oh fuck. I think we'll take the draw card. Get the 3 3. If I don't see it, it didn't happen. I mean, I stream almost every day too. I play offline. I do play offline. Scorp Hero? Are you like seeing the cost of this card? <laughs> Thought steal, so thought steal is not going to steal anything to deal with forest. So he needs to have Nova. Definitely could have Nova. We haven't given him a Nova board yet. Garab. So. Assuming he has Nova. If I trade into either one, he trades back and it's clean. But then we play it again. He only has, he has two priest cards in his hand. He has a renew card and a card he has since turn three. Two of the cards are from uh, from our own deck. Okay, that's good. Okay, this all seems fine. Okay, alright, so that's the whole shebang there.
Wow. Somehow got it. Off the top, eh? Nice, a unembiggened albatross. We trade a 3 2 for a 1 1, basically. It's a 4 4. Was that even good? No, I don't think that was good. I want to draw a card, I think. Grave runes, split. Like, those types of cards are a bit scary here. But Split gives them a bit of value, but it doesn't actually do that much on the board. Can't play this card. Unless we have Keeper of the Grove or something, or have Beepo. I've Uh, I mean, MC is like 60% of all priest decks have it, so it's a very common thing to play around, I think. He might even have another one, to be honest. But we definitely can't play this, especially if we're not ready for it, so... Split. Or Grave Runes. Grave Runes, you can clear the full board. That's how crazy the card is with, like, initiative. Another one. Yeah, not yeah, not include like generated bullcrap, right? But like drafted, drafted, you basically expect mind control in almost every priest. So you you base yeah you just. If you can avoid playing something like that Colossus, like we could avoid playing it, right? Like we're playing like a six mana five seven, we're playing a you know a rush a two mana three three. Like we're playing other stuff, but in some games you can't avoid playing the Colossus. Like a game against the DH, we couldn't avoid playing the Force Aid, even though that we knew that if he had it, he would have killed us. Um, 
Although personally, I did not think he would have it because he could have easily played it and it would have been really good on the turn that he had it, the, the turn before. But I mean, that turn we couldn't uh, hold off playing Forest Aid. Uh, if, if we had something else to play, then I definitely would have held off uh, just because of how punishing a uh, cycle of hatred was. But same thing with that last game. Like if we could hold off playing the Colossus um, because of how punishing MC is, then we definitely do it. Draw last. Add a game that single handedly won by using Rune on a vanilla 5 5. Split the same minion to turn after. Yeah, it's very punishing. Um, leaving minions up against Priest. Especially, like. Um, like yeah, very, very punishing because, like, they can utilize so many buffs, right? Um, like, Apotheosis instantly gets them back in the game, too. So. Like, if he played a minion that we ignored, he can instantly play a top Potheosis and then, um, you know, we'll be kind of out of it again. I think we wait for next turn. I only play classes against Priest if he's top decking or I have a poly. Yeah, exactly. If you have a way to go through it, or if you don't care if it gets MC'd, then you're okay. But. Yeah, for us, for Drew, it's going to be tough. Trade like 20 mana with the stuff and even still had a 5-5 left, five, five, yeah. At that point, the game is kind of just over. Broom? No. Let's see. Get down. Never surrender. It's probably get. It's probably a uh, repent. Uh, redemption. It's not really. Could be repentance. not. I guess it's never surrender. Kind of awkward. Does I for nice to exist? Yes, it still exists. Uh, hmm. So I hero power this. The the robot, kill this guy off, play this. Hmm. Hero power, probably just bump here, force him to run it all into this. Why not kill the reborn minion? Yeah, that's what I just did, right? Jesus. Uh, hmm. Well, this is pretty bad, so. Hero power afterwards? Uh, yeah, that would have been better. Damn. Yeah, that would have been better.
Yeah, I should have killed a 3 1, so my fault. One extra damage on the board. So he would have had a 10 10 instead of an 11 10. Uh, I mean, next turn discard is free, so maybe it, maybe it can help. We develop a lot of tempo for 6 mana, but. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I mean, it's it's insane, right? The amount of the amount of uh, power the amount of power you get from that one card. Like, think about how many cards we had to spend to kill this thing. Shavera. Kill this. Hit five two. Oh, just off by a slightly little bit. Chavera here is like insanely good. If it fucking kills the elevens, four and the five two, and somehow the one one lives. I don't think that's possible. <sighs> yeah, I think we have to burn the bog, right? So three and we don't even get extra damage. Three, two, one. We have to throw it in too. <laughs> it's possible. Okay, we get one damage in. Alright, we get one damage in. That's good, right? That's good enough. <laughs> At least the uh, the the bog beam was worth one damage. No, hammer of wrath. For duty. Um, let's see. Can we get survival of the fittest? I've never used that card before, but it'd be nice to have it. Surprise he traded, yeah. Is that card draftable? Survival, yeah, it's a very good card actually. If you look at win rates, it's actually uh, very strong. Oops. <laughs> Discover last pog, crystal song. Another never surrender. So this guy drafted two never surrenders. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, the second one is from Cobalt. Thank you. Damn. Um, so this turn, I think we have to play this. So we can spend this Never Surrender. Wrath. Wrath for three. Wrath for three. Yeah, it's not really that good. I think we just put three in, play this. No. Oh, that seems so greedy. Alright. Greed. Greed happened here. Yeah, greed happened there. It's bad ordering. The last two turns are pretty bad ordering. 
couldn't decide what I wanted to do. Like, I feel like I should have templed this out. Um, but I feel like the chances of us getting the Crystal Song value is, like, very low. If we don't get it this turn, because we would have to play two minions. Like, we played this, and then we had to play two minions. I don't know. I mean, at least it kind of worked out. It's kind of the same as Forest Aid. It's actually better than Forest Aid. Ooh. Oh my goodness, we get to discover something. Nice. Get to discover a spell. Okay, this time I'm going to play this correctly. My remedies are all natural. Uh, whenever you restore health. Oh, so any health. Maybe I'll restore my Valfiend. Oh my god, Treant value too. Oh my goodness. I think we take it, right? We have to. Oh wait. Damn. All right, we give him the extra treant. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Maybe getting too cute. Uh, we're playing a little bit too slow. But hopefully this is enough. I mean, Paladin has the lifesteal card, so... Couldn't you have sacrificed the two mana and saved the taunt? Um, couldn't you have sacrificed the two mana? Save the treant. Oh yeah, that's true. I was, you know what? I was stuck on a train of thought that I was gonna play the wrath, and then uh, I was like, oh, I guess I'm not playing the wrath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, he's right. Cause then we could have just, um, we could have just, um, s sorry, sacrificed one less. Treant, and then played the card for two mana or one mana. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, we would have had an extra two two. So my fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's too many things happening, and then the rope happens, and I'm like, oh shit, forget about efficiency. Shit, we don't even have lethal on board. Hmm. Can he kill us?
Yeah, that's why I went for a draw. I kind of wanted to save the broom. Uh, do you think Blizzard has to do make Arena less of a shit show? No, I don't think so. I think Arena is like, it's, I yeah, I wouldn't even say it's like the worst meta ever, because I don't think it is. Um, I mean, it just feels bad to play against, um, you know, Priest and Mage all day. That's kind of the only thing, but. That guy's actually alive. Holy smokes. He needs another concept? That would be pretty gross. We have a keeper for a huge taunt. But we can't dodge another concept. Damn. This guy's <laughs> this guy's finding ways. Where's our winner? Where's our winner card? Scorpid. Scorpid is instant lethal. Um, yeah, <laughs> that crossed my mind too. Like keep the three three up. Uh, it's, it's such a, like I don't know. I don't know. Maybe those are five head plays. That means you get ranked one, but. Damn, I wanted this to get the winner again. Hey Quebec, what's up man? Followed my path. Beating a stacked mage at 8, 30 minute game. Oh man, you just listed me like a shopping list of cards. From this, he proceeded to generate the following 17 cards. <laughs> congrats, congrats Quebec. Yeah, it sounds like a wild game there. Didn't have a spell, yeah. We definitely made some misplays this this game though. Like just like general ordering hasn't been super good. Being a bit indecisive with what I want to do. Oh, you stole a Solarian with madness. After his trick totem, Earth shocked my supreme abyssal. Oh my god. That is insanity. Die hard mode. Thanks for the follow. That sounds awesome. Trick totem into Earth shock. <laughs> Get wrecked. Sounds awesome though. That's like a that's such a like a molding moment, right? It's just like, oh my god, like what the fuck? And then suddenly twelve damage. Yeah. Like that's the kind of stuff you wanna that's the kind of stuff that makes you like wanna stream because no one would believe you. At least if you streamed it, it's going to be like, you know, at least you have it on video. Supreme Abyssal sleeper pick. You see Druid, I click stream. Really? It's because Druid is so dominant in 
standard right now, right? But why would you want to watch Druid in Arena? Druid right now is like, um, it's like middle. It's like a middle class right now. Like a uh, fifth, I think fifth best rain win rate. But I mean, it's close. It's not too far. It's, it's still a solid class, but not as insane as the top classes. So Prima Abyssal is actually good in Priest because if you leave the minion up, um, you can get Apotheosis off on Supreme Abyssal for you know casual 14 health healing. You're new to the game. I don't know what is good and not if I play Druid. Okay. Um, general tier list is here, but if you're brand new to the game, definitely um, probably just stick to what you're good at for now. So. Uh, I think we take the hero power. That's a pretty weak Nova. I mean, he Nova just to kill the Scorpid. Yeah, we we'll take the value here. Yeah, if you're new, definitely ask questions. Um, so that will help uh, speed your learning up. Uh, get out of here, you stupid. Trevera. Oh, nice. We got two drop. You don't take the, the thing is, we got this last time too. I had a game where I apotheosis my abyssal and then psych split it, so you never lost. So he gets uh, he gets Trevera again. He doesn't bother playing it. Why? Unless he doesn't get it again. Maybe he got Aug Merchant. I'm going face. Maybe he got Aug Merchant instead of Shavera. Now Shavera is not very good. He needs another Nova. Oh, there's his Nova. Hate this game. Nova or Breath? Not too many AoEs for, for Priest right now. He doesn't have Nova. You could definitely have like Split or something. He could have split, but then the freeze is going to kill him. We could draw for survival of the fittest and then win next turn. Swipe? Swipe might be it. Choose one could be blessing. That could be kind of huge here. Kind of a gamble though, taking a worthy expedition. Could be power, power is a little bit weaker. Yeah, that's true. Damn, I made a mistake <laughs> thinking that was uh, thinking that was um, choose one. But yeah, twin spell. Okay. Okay. Fourteen. Eighteen. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> All right, he's dead. He's dead unless I click the wrong button. Oh. 
sleep deprived, yeah. You know how it is. Still winning. No Scorpion lethal. Wanted to increase the win rate of uh, of uh, that little one cost card. Uh, Raise Dead. Are you talking about Raise Dead, Quebec? Raise Dead's super good. Like Raise Dead versus Thought Steel, it's pretty close. I think Thought Steel is probably better. Maybe. Maybe. Because Raise Dead. Raise Dead has probably a lower chance of getting you bigger cards, I think. Yo, is Zeal? Yo, is Zeal a Blizzard default name? Because I play this guy every day. I played him yesterday. I'm playing him now. I literally play him every day. Zeal, this guy, Zeal. I don't want the broom, I think, but... Yeah, but I, pl I literally play this guy every day. Like, on Asia, I play this guy every day. I thought it was like a default name, almost. I mean, maybe this guy just plays a lot. Like, that's another reason too. He plays a lot. Maybe I've run into him, but it does seem a little bit suspect that I would run into him. Like, he might be sniping, I don't know. Definitely possible. I mean, we'll see, right? See how these people, like, um,. Play around certain things like Tyrant, and particularly the Forest Aid card. It's um, freeze it dies. Play this. Play this. He double hits. Scorpion kills one. Card seems more throwable. You don't pick the wise, hey? Alright, let's see how he plays around um, Corruptor and Shavira. Guess he's not going to. Kodo kills this. We can kill the 4 4. We can kill this, copy this, kill both. So we have a 4 1 against a 3 3. That might be the best, actually. Do this. That's uh, probably the best. We still have the coin too. I mean, you could even kill the 3-3 three, three and leave. Could even greet out here. Could even greet out. He's dead for four. So what does he get back? Lackey? How perfect.
Maybe Hydra. Next turn we have a pretty good swing turn with the Bog. Kill this. Coin Hydra. My volume is pretty low. Really? It seems pretty okay, I think, but maybe not. Damn it. Uh Damn. Ah, uh, damn. Uh, almost dead. Are we dead? Soul fire. Uh, Savage war deal six. Yeah, it's not good enough. Um. Hmm. Batterhead kills basically everything. Um, should we wrath this? So this happens, right? Two, five, seven, eight, and it goes in.
don't think there was any way out of that game. Six attack, yeah. We had to high roll for the a bad seven, uh, bad seven drop. Like there's some low attack seven drops. Like there's like a four four. There's a two four. Um, so I mean, you know, might be a sniper. I mean, like I said, I played a guy like a lot, like enough where I recognize his name, like Zeal. I just recognize that name now. Um. Although, like, some of the turns in that game felt like they weren't really, like, snipe, sniping turns. Like, that Shavera turn, like, it didn't feel like sniping turns, but... No, there's a 7-mana there's a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, there's a 7-mana 4-4, four, four, and there's 7-mana 5-5s. Five so, there's definitely outs. We're at 6, right? So, it has to be less than 6. So there's still outs for us. He played quick. Yeah, it doesn't really say a lot. Yeah, 7 mana 4-4 four, four, and the Warlock, 7 mana 4-4 four, four with the Sprint, and then Bran, and then there's 7 mana 5-5s. Five, yeah, there's a 3-5, yeah, so there's definitely more than, there's there's a couple outs, so. I think we just play the 5-1 and chill. Because we can coin this out next turn. Not coin, but sorry, the the the, the saber. There's there's three fives, a five fives. Council shit. What are the odds? It's definitely more than just one. So it's probably like twenty percent or something. Like it has to be less than six, right? So five, four, three, two. Um, I mean, I can look it up. I have, uh, yeah, I can look it up. It can't, it won't be a difficult task since there's so limited, uh, seven drops. These are huge Vow Fiends, fuck. A taint stick, how are you man? Give me a sec, I'll load up the seven drops for us. Hopefully I mean he doesn't have a spell unless he just drew it recently because he turned them all into minions. Yeah, so he has to do some trading with his over costed minions here. So what can we do? We can trade this guy off. Kodo doesn't do anything. Does this do anything? Overloads us? Don't think we want to do that. What to do? Or maybe we push face. We can't push face actually. This 4-6 gets in a way. 
Uh, we're doing alright, thanks for asking. Hmm. Playing some arena, you know how it goes. All right, seven mana minion. Uh, seven mana minion. Uh, there's forty four seven mana minions. So there's 44, let's remember that. Forty four and of the minions? What the fuck is this, man? Are you kidding me, dude? The guy has twenty cards. He draws two of them on the first draw. Like, are you kidding me, dude? Okay, anyways, so five or less attack. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty two, twenty three. So 50% chance to be less than 6 attack, so definitely uh, a little bit unlucky there. You had a 5 2 rogue that had Bog Creeper in deck. Holy cow. Yeah, you haven't played in a long time. Got 11, lost two games because of that card. Jesus, man. Hit, hit, three. So this goes down to three. Three. Short one power. Yeah, I was curious actually. So it's like 50% to get less than 6 attack. So yeah. I would say we got pretty unlucky there. Oh my god, for real, eh? Shit.
He has one buff card, two lackeys, two two cards off the top. Oh man, we got lucky because he has a big demon. So we're lucky that he pulled the small demon. Guardians? What's Guardians pulling? Pulls Scorpid. That's it. So I guess we take Bite. Yeah, Guardian's no good. Take bite. Four mana to trigger, okay. Scorpits in my hand. Did I play a scorp? I have two scorpits though. I have two scorpits in my deck. Is it gold in the shadows? The touch of the oh, the cho. No, this was the demon that was buffed up. The one three was from his hand, I think. Five. This thing wakes up, right? I don't know if I want to play Kodo. Yeah, I probably don't play Kodo. He does, I guess he doesn't have another demon from his deck, and he pulled the 1-3 from his hand, because the other demon was a satire. So it was a 50-50 on the satire, but he pulled the, uh, are you kidding me, man? Like, can you get a better, like, lucky top deck? Jesus. Okay. Oh, lucky we won that gun. Uh, in a standard game, yesterday I discovered Embiggen from Natural Studies and played Guardians. I pulled nothing because the beasts were 6 mana. Oh my god. That is... That is 5 head. <laughs> that is 5 head. Actually, that's a pretty interesting stat. I didn't know that... That's a pretty interesting stat. The um, the um, seven cost minions less than six power. That's actually a lot. So when you guys are like thinking about that, that's a lot. Like fifty percent of the time, you're gonna pull a minion with less than six attack. That's pretty huge. Nah, it's hard to say. No decks are overpowered nowadays. But, I mean, this deck looks good, has good quality, uh, so. Yeah, Druid's pretty fair. Uh, Expedition. We'll save the Expedition. Maybe we can play Force 8 on 7, get Flame Strikes, and then leave. Uh, 
let's get top deck. You know what? To be fair, our results are not excellent, but they're not terrible. Like we haven't had like super super terrible runs, like a zero or a one or a two, but we haven't had like excellent runs, like twelves and stuff. Uh, he temples a three mana four four. I mean that's fine for us, right? I wouldn't mind playing this this turn. Because then we can cheat this out next turn. This card is so annoying. So annoying, yep. This burns the coin for a minion, yep. Oh, actually I had something to play, okay, fine. Still annoying though. Uh, one mana Wrath. Might be worth, because then we can develop this. Delays this, but that's kind of okay. I guess we get a hero power and play a 2 2, and it just feels kind of bad. You definitely need to kill off the stupid sculptor there. Hey, monkey styles, thanks for the follow. kind of need to give him something just to get this 5-2 out of the way. I don't want to reveal my 3-5 because then we can pull this off next turn. Nah, uh, fuck it. Maybe you get stupid and attacks or something. So, spell power guy, one mage minion, and he's just playing crap. Crap. Okay, so no flame strike. That's what it tells me. Because why would you play that AoE to kill a, a single 4 drop if you have flame strike? Oh, because you play on. Because you play mage and you have unlimited resources, that's why. <laughs> Doesn't make any fucking sense, dude. Oh wait, you have unlimited resources. I get it. So stupid. You don't take the wise. Like, you go one drop arcane explosion just to kill the scorpid, but you have a flame strike in your hand. Like how? ridiculously like strong as your hand that you can do this like it's it just feels like a total waste of resources
Power of the Wild seems pretty good. The forest, but. I mean, if forest doesn't work out, we have stuff like Surger, so we don't really need Corruptor. Sorry, yeah, we have stuff like Surger because we have the Corruptor, so we don't need another Corruptor card. He might try to race us. A charming composition. Yeah. Mm. A charming composition. Uh, okay. Oh, he's trading. I think we can still win with these cards. He has two spells. They have to be the highest power spells like ever. Like serious. Room's good. Uh, hey, dead hero. What's up, man? Um, broom. This guy. We could play all three of these. Actually, that's pretty good because then this kills this off. This kills it. This kills that. Kind of burns the freeze though. Major faceless, yeah. Makes me happy to see you rocking out. Oh, thanks, man. Doing our best. Dang, combustion. Dang. Oh, the heal for a random spell.
Not super strong here. I mean, it's gonna be hard to win with just this against his four cards. Our hand's not very good. Here. I think it's Flame Ward. Can we wait a turn? That's actually really good here. My business. Yeah, flame ward. I mean he's drawing he's drawing 10 drops too. Uh, I think it's a bug when they rear rearrange my deck, so it's a bug. He's drawing 10 drops or 8 drops or whatever. Tyrant kills the first body. His next draw could be um flame strike. So if I play this, play this, could be Flame Strike next draw. Pickrock, Tyrant, again. Um, those are cards that kind of get him back in the game. Okay, that's good. Uh, definitely a pretty scary card. Uh, when you're in top deck mode and you play uh, Polkelt there, like definitely very scary. So if we didn't get Colossus off the top, uh, we would have been pretty fucked. Yeah, GG. We would have been pretty fucked though. Hey Ramsey. Um Who needs Poke when you're top deck in God? Oh thanks man. Sounds like Sounds like uh that guy needed him. Is Druid much worse after Discover Nerf or not really? Um it could be coincidence, but I did see Druid drop slightly. I did see Druid drop slightly, but it doesn't make that much sense since the other classes should also um, hurt from that as well, um, but maybe it's because Druid doesn't have that many good Discover cards that nerfing Emerald Explorer is a pretty big nerf, uh, but I'm not too sure. But coincidentally Druid did drop slightly, basically just swaps places with Paladin, but the classes have been dropped like swapping places for the last couple days, so no big change.
I don't really want any of this. I'm going first, look for Valphine. Look for a two or something. I'll get nothing, alright. Okay. <sighs> okay. Pretty bad if he has a uh, AUG here. Okay. Oh, he does have the AUG. Oh, no AUG. Okay, okay, okay. Do, do, do. Uh. Is there ever a Dreamway? It might be Dreamway. Because we're not going to be using Savage Roar anytime soon, and it feels like we need some help. I mean, you could even, like, play this and play Mark to kill this. Is that better? Maybe that's better. Damn, you know what? I should have just hit the 3-3 three, three with the 2 damage. Yeah, yeah. I realized that right afterwards. Yeah, that's my bad. Misplay. Yeah, a bit of misplay there. Uh, he has a mage spell. That big bad gruel here. Damn. No, he has nothing? Oh my goodness. He definitely has something, but he chose to kill the Hydra instead of developing. That's pretty huge. I mean, this is 10-10 with the power. Versus a single large minion. I think this is better than playing Gruul. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is just better. You don't pick the 
Uh, that's good. We can play this with Gruel. Hey, Shar, what's up, man? He's got the scam box? No, he played the Frostbolt, so no more mages for now. That was the runs? Uh, first run of the day, so we're at 9 and 2 right now. <gasps> Savage Roar. Is this it for him? 10 plus 10, that's 20. He's pretty close to dead. Um, I mean, we probably play this, this, and this. So next time we draw a minion to... Oh, look at that lag. I mean, it's 20 damage, 20 something damage to the face. And he's playing Rogue. And we still have 10 power on the board. It's very hard for him to deal with here. It's way better than playing a single large minion against Rogue, so. Your feeble magic you. Ah, super dead. Yay, we made it to double digits. We're making Druid work? I mean, this deck plays itself. It's really strong. Uh, quality is really high. You asked for it. I must protect the wild. Hmm. These are some of our most powerful cards. Pretty big gamble. I don't know, against Mage? Even if we curve out, we might not get there. Embiggen maybe. You know what? We haven't really played Embiggen that often in this uh, entire run. Like we played it in the mid game where it kind of sort of didn't matter. But we haven't gotten it early that many times. Well, he's curving out pretty good, so... I had a game on Druid where I nature studies into overgrowth on 3. It was nasty. Oh, nice. Yeah, as long as you have a hand that can utilize the extra mana, then that's really good. But I think the problem is, like, it's inconsistent, right? Because then you get... Um, you get the extra mana, and then sometimes you just don't have a hand that utilizes it. And then it's like, uh, it's kind of bad. Fuck, why did they get this card? It's so scam, man. Fuck. This card is like beyond scam. Uh, I think we saved the coin for one of our power turns. 8 into 8. Like, scam central. Could go trade, trade. Yeah. I think at this point we don't want to like hero power and stuff like that. We want to play this on like a, a body next turn.
And of course he wants the prime in his deck right away. Guy plays nothing? Okay. <laughs> That's like it's possible he plays nothing. That's what uh, these mages do. This is pretty juicy. Like we can go Coin Shavera into six, but it's not the same as Coin Tyrant into Forest Aid. You faced 8 in one run, ended 11 and 3. Well, I mean, if you're that high in the wins, then you're probably facing mages, right? This run, this is our third mage. We played 3 priests as well, so we played 6 of the top classes, top 2 classes, which is about what I'm doing right now. Like, based on all my stats from the beginning of the expansion, uh, those two classes make up about 40 to 43 percent of my matchups. So four out of ten games. So I go seven and three, four of them I play against those two. I rather play Mage and Priest. Mm, both of them are can be fun, but I think Mage is a little bit better because it's more consistent. All you face were Druids, now it's all Mages and Priests. Interesting, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, I mean, we can just drop this into Flame Strike. The problem is we don't have much to develop if he has Flame Strike, but if he has it, then that's fine. Secret. What could it be? Why would he trade? I don't think he has it. Yeah, probably mirror. It's not even mirror. The fuck. Oh, play against mage and against priest. Oh, I see. Uh, <laughs> both of them are pretty bad, man. I, I don't want to play against either of them. Usually, I hate on pre. Uh, I hate on mage big time. Just hate that card. Okay, so he doesn't have flame strike. I mean, this is good, but he has a spell. So he has a card that triggers off of a spell. Could be counter spell. That would be terrible if it was counter spell. But we don't have like a minion here. Can we just savage four? Feels bad though. Maybe it's just tyrant face. Go from there. Yeah, we can't play this into counter spell. Like it's just throwing away eight mana. It's too huge. Oh god, what a play! Yeah, that's huge. Thought I heard a sound. Yeah. 
four cost card, one card, top deck. He needs a freeze. He needs a freeze here. Maybe the secret can do it. He needs a secret flame ward. Oh yeah, explosion could do it too, yeah. Hey Barbaric, thank you so much man. Three months, welcome back. Oh god. Joking me, right? He's joking me, right? Gets a secret. Why doesn't it show the cards that it discards? Like, I would like that as a enhancement. Why would he freeze this? Yeah, I saw a spellbender too. I don't know. I think we still trade a little. Actually, sorry, we should test. Damn it, we should test. Damn it. Okay, we should test. Damn it. So, very likely. Oh my god, we could die here. Oh my god. Uh, I fucked up that turn, fuck. Um, Cause I'm, I wanted to play this again, but then I realized that... I didn't have mana, fuck. And then we didn't play a body, it's the fucking worst. Ugh, so bad. This, um, I'm playing on Asia, right? So sometimes my clicks don't go through too, so that it looks like I have boomer APM, but honestly, like, it just doesn't work. Losses just dies. Uh, I probably play Savage Roar here. Actually, if we play Roar, we freeze this, and then we play the Bat, so then we have these two. It still doesn't threaten lethal. I think we probably take a chance with this. I think this is Fireball. Four cost card from the Scarab, so four cost card plus a freeze, we play this. We double trades. 
maybe. He might just freeze it. If it's Polly, we just lose. The top deck is Devolving Missile. Yo, man. This fucking game we fucked up. We fucked up, but he fucking... Uh, uh, I think we could have played this game better. Well, definitely we could have played this game better. Because I fucked up that turn. Uh, yeah, the games are harder in, it, uh, in Asia. Um, but I don't know what, what they do differently, but I definitely don't win as much on Asia.